All right, guys, so a couple of you requested, actually, you've been requesting that I do a showcase for Leota Machida for a while now, and the main reason why I haven't done it is I really don't know how to use Machida. And I know that might come as a surprise because Machida is a karate style striker and I'm quite familiar with a few of those style of kickboxers like Steven Thompson for example. But Machida moves different, his speed is different and he's not as fast and as nimble and as fleet, fleet footed as you would expect him to be so he's kind of hard to use. You want to touch gloves buddy? Thank you. Now we're facing Yoel. And uh, Opens up with step a back. We'll double that up. The Boom. Spin. He moves in. Showing the punch. Step back. I want to hit. I want to hit him with a spin as he comes in. Both fighters a little bit hesitant to engage, Shoots. Now, the one thing with Machida, like I, I, I like to say, is you you, look, you really, really got to fight from the outside. You really do. There you go. Once they start closing the distance like this, like, I'm still trying to learn how to use them, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not proficient with the character yet. I have to get used to the speed. He shoots. I gotta get used to the speed and also figure out how to keep myself safe. You know what I mean? With a lot of these characters, it's all about figuring out how to keep yourself safe while learning their speed. That was the most difficult thing while learning Gunnar Nelson, for example. No. But with Machida, I'm suspecting I'm going to need to use the, the push quite a bit. I used the push a lot while using Anderson Silva. He catches it. Good takedown. I used to push a lot while using Anderson Silva or Israel. We might need to implement that a bit with, with Leota. But right now I'm on the bottom. Let's try to keep ourselves safe down here and not take too much damage. Nice punch to the body. Now, do I think they did they did him justice in this game? In in some ways, yeah. In other ways, no. Like, apart from the fact that he stands like a karate style fighter, nothing else about him really feels like a karate style fighter. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain. Like his animations just it's all like the regular stuff. And you can't really go in and out quickly like Machida used to do. Now, I'm throwing this front kick because as you can see, this dude is just focusing on blocking his body. So... Missed. Oh, both men exchange. Really missed with that right hand. Final seconds of round one. The horn sounds he he doesn't he really doesn't look like he knows what to do with Yoel. He doesn't. I feel like I feel like we we just froze him a little bit. I feel like we just froze him because every single time he attempts to come in, I'm able to hit him with something. And so far, this man is looking frozen. Let's see what he does in this round. There you go. Pretty entertaining. Not the greatest round of the year per se, but pretty good action on both sides. Joe Rogan, your thoughts on what Okay, he's just going to block his body. Let's go to the head. By the way, what I just did right there, knee and going for the knee after he whips the takedown. There you go. Keep blocking your body, big boy. Uh-huh. He's hitting you with this, with this front kick to the head. There you go. Sit down. You're going to block your body again? You're going to hold that low block? Take a step back. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Romero. 
doing an excellent job of mixing up his strikes here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he lands another jab, splits the guard beautifully there. Oh, really oh. rocked again. He's got him hurt here. Body kick, look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah. I found my distance, people. I have found my... Oh, he's done. He's quitting. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He is done. I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Let's move on. See if I can do one more fight. I don't want to spend too much time with Machida just yet. Well, this, is, this is just a test run for now. Let's do one more. I'll be right back. Now our tale of the tape for this light All right, so... So three years As you guys can see, I'm checking fighters, both the middleweight and the light heavyweight division. I do believe Machida is better in the light heavyweight division. That is the weight class that he was champion. Um, but we're, we're about to find out. I, I think he feels better in this weight class. His speed is more appropriate in this weight class. And uh, a matchup like this against someone like Shogun, this is actually the, the level of fighters that Machida should be facing. So, you want to touch gloves, buddy? Thank you. Let's see if I can use that push. There you go. And the spin, too. Yep. And like I told you guys, if your fighter can... Can, whatever your fighter can combo with the jab, you can combo with the push. Oh, missed. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So if you can throw the jab spin kick, you can you can throw the push spin kick. And one more thing to keep in mind about the push into the spin, he's rocked. One more thing to keep in mind about the push into the spin is if you, it has to be a stationary push into a forward moving spin. Don't go to my body, bro. Does that make any sense at all? Push him right back. A stationary push into a forward moving spin to the body or spin to the head. Because if you do a stationary push and you go for a stationary spin, you're going to miss. It's not going to reach the fighter. Keep that in mind. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice jab on the cheek. Oh, that was far. Oh, man. Caught that one. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Wow, Ooh. what a kick. Like that. Stationary push, forward moving spin. Really missed with that right hand. Switching yeah. stances here. Let's go. Let's go conventional for a bit. Just to give him a different look. And then I'm going to see if I can go for the switch spin. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Yeah, I'm going to go, for, I'm gonna go for, uh, for the stationary spin this time so it's faster. Push him. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. Come in. He switched back to There we go. Push him back. Nice left hook to the body. All right. And one thing I'm also seeing is like I don't have to I don't have to throw a strike every time I push him. The whole entire point of the push is to maintain kicking range. I want to be in kicking range with Leota Machida. So anytime I see them closing that distance, as long as they're not closing that distance constantly with st with strikes, I can use the push to always keep them in kicking range. Push him, there you go. Push him, keep moving. 
Lyoto Machida is the best karate stylist to ever compete in mixed martial arts. I disagree, His style Joe. is very perplexing for people who haven't competed against him before, and he has a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu to go with it. Best karate stylist is Steven oh, wow. Thompson. Well, they made all the right here tonight, and no, the don't do that. I can see that freaking... He's rock. Oh! Oh, it's over. Oh, that is a brutal knockout. Oh, man, that was nasty. That was so nasty, dude. We caught him with the uppercut into the lead lead hook, the right hook, which rocked him. And then we went for a roundhouse to the body while he was blocking his head. The roundhouse rocked him to the body. And then we went up high with the classic left high kick from Machida. And he thought it was going to go low. Boom. We completely faked that man out and knocked him out cold. Look at this one more time. Boom. And that is insane man that reminds me of his head kick knockout versus mark munoz you guys remember that he went for a high kick and mark munoz actually blocked it but the head kick grazed past the block and knocked him out cold that's what that reminds me of man okay so we're gonna end it right here just got a taste of machida just a little bit i'm gonna keep working the character and then i'm gonna give you guys a full-blown a proper proper Leota Machida fighter showcase with at least maybe three three to four fights in it um, But this is just just a test. Hope you guys enjoyed this one Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video as always stay safe Have a wonderful day